Hi everyone, welcome to Modes Media. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. GIMP Toolbox Series, getting started, creating a new layer mask. I'm going to show you a little demonstration. This is a GIMP Toolbox Series and there are episodes and of course playlist series. So let's open up GIMP 2.8 everyone. Now we've got a nice photograph of a beautiful pet. Uh, well some people love them, I read adorable cats, although I do have a dog. Anyway, um, when you come to this particular video, you may be saying, oh, I'm totally confused. I recommend you start watching all the video tutorials and watch the playlist series because step-by-step -step instructions, how to do it, and as I say, watch and learn. Now, over here, I've got a layer, and I named it called Top Cat, <laughs> or something simple. Now, I want to... In there, I want to change and create a layer mask. Now, on this occasion, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call it um, Golden. Okay, Golden will do, and I'll keep it transparent at this stage. You can go white. If you do white, it'll be the, the, uh, the, the background, and uh, background or foreground colors black and white, as you can see, but I'm just going to use transparency this occasion. I'm going to switch that cat off, top cat and work on the top layer, layer called Golden. It's transparent. I'm gonna switch the light, light back on, the eye, of course, because what I wanna do here, I wanna click the colors and select these colors from the cat. The body, first I'll go to there and say that's a sort of a brown, beautiful. And if you're doing HTML, you see the notation there, B8814F for Freddy. Now, I'll flip that over using the up and down arrow key, which is important. I'll double click that again. And this time, I'll get a little bit of a, oh, get out of that one. I'll get a bit of a brown there, darker brown. And the HTML notation is 482812. Now this is all kept down here, as you know, in, in GIMP 2.8, so you can always flick through these 12 last selections you had. I'll just flip that over, because I want the light and dark. It's up to you, whatever you want. Now I'm gonna turn my little uh, light off and, and select the golden layer. In the blend tool and the earlier video tutorials I'll show you how to use the blend tool and how to mix and so on. So that's why I'm recommending you go back and watch these video tutorials. Now I'm going to double click that right there and we've got a property there. I'm going to keep it linear, the shape. I'm not going to select radial or be linear or square or whatever there. I'm just going to keep that as that. But I'm going to go straight down the center. Now zero to tw uh, to that figure there, well I think it's 640 by 840, whatever it was. So you can see from there to there, halfway is about, oh, it's that, that little marker there. You can, you know, judge it properly, but I'm gonna keep it like that. Whether you want to have a bit dark on top or a bit dark on the, on the bottom, it's up to you. Now we'll go back to the layers section here and I'll activate the cat. Now I'm gonna click on my top cat here and place it up right there you see now I'm going to highlight my top cat and I'm going to double click the fuzzy select tool and there was a video tutorial about the fuzzy select tool once again I'm going to keep the feather edge active that little there now the radius at 10 and the threshold at 15 I'll leave it by default now selected by the composite now that's exactly what I want I'm not going to work with any channels and I haven't converted the layers okay the alpha channel I have not I left it as it is so that's very important so now when I click that fuzzy select tool I'm just going to click it there the marching ants have gone around it as you can see clearly this time I'm going to go to image oh sorry uh, select invert sorry select invert now I selected the invert right from select invert I'm going to go back to the top cat hi highlight that okay I'm going to go now into layers, that's important now, and from there, I'm going to go to mask. Add layer mask. This little window opens up in the dialog box and it gives you a few selections. You want it in white, black, you can, you can follow that. The alpha channel, now I've shown you before, I haven't activated the alpha channel. Actually, it's just dropped in selection there, and I'm going to leave it in there on this occasion. I'm not going to go anything else, I'm just going to add 
and pronto uh, select none to remove the margin ends and automatically it snapped what's underneath that's the golden layer color and everything blends in now you can really see the quality of that back into your layers mask you can also go into right show layer mask so I'll click that there and you can see where you work you can do a lot there okay it is absolutely brilliant uh, GIMP 2.8 and where you see the tick tick it off and edit a layer mask and you can see now as I say you can flip this any way you like and get some incredible colors there you can see that white there and the background there in my next video tutorials is the design series GIMP design says watch out for that one because incredible designs and templates that you can come up with GIMP so don't forget for more video tutorials visit mosmedia.biz bye for now